video, bro. Shout out to Jonathan Reed. I'm gonna hit you with a sub and a like from that, bro. <sighs> Another day, another PDF file exposed. I swear, this is the 50th influencer that's been called out this month. What's up, guys? It is Ray Ace here, and hopefully you all are having a blessed and wonderful day. We're about to get into something more personal because this one actually kind of sucks. It was a hero of mine, and now here I am having to put him on the chopping block. This would be the Mr. Telexify situation. Okay, so this had all started from a tweet that was made by Rosaro uh, after he had noticed that his girlfriend's, or Mr. Telexify and his girlfriend's age, there was a discrepancy from whenever they had first started dating. YouTubers talking to children inappropriately for the third time within a month, all right? In the most basic form, Mr. Telexify was caught grooming his minor girlfriend when he was 18 and she was 15, okay? Jesus Christ. This all started and came to light due to the recent controversy Mr. Telexify had with the Transit Remastered map, all right? The Transit Remastered map was a map made by the guy that made the Water Park map last year, in which the Transit Remastered map is a a paid for map the transit remastered map was never released and the guy that was making it has never came out and said anything about it in which people were donating money to this guy to get the map that they wanted to pay for all right it got so much controversy that mr telexify made a video on it in which in the entire video mr telexify is kissing this guy's ass and making excuses for him which is unbelievable ways that a lot of people have felt scammed by what has happened with the situation and i totally agree with that however i don't want people to say that a danny has not made quality maps man shut your bitch ass up so let's get into reading this it says i would like to address the situation of three people specifically in the zombies community targeting and harassing me being renzaro which we just talked about sbp and dig dug seven these people have been targeting me in every manner trying to erase my image and i would like the community to know that they have only ever tried to harass me and take me off the platform my past with Renzaro is he has stolen multiple of my thumbnails assets and has now decided to thwart me in every turn by blocking me and constantly sending people to harass me over the last couple months with images of me as a rat. Now there's a couple of issues with this because if y'all have ever watched Telexify or follow him on Twitter, videos, okay, pretty decent. He actually tries to do original videos. Uh, shorts. You want to talk about the memes you've stolen? You do you want to, or do you want to also bring up many, many reposts that you've done on Twitter and stuff that you have not given credit to other people about? I try to at least give credit as much as I can. Like I'll drop everybody's links in my description and everything like that. I T Lexify. I don't think does that with any of his memes, shorts, or any of his uh Twitter posts. So, Lex, you're being an asshole and a hypocrite. Be nice with you, dog. Uh, the ages that they would have been would have been 15 and 18. So, there was a quite a bit of a discrepancy. But, and still, like, actually explaining it or anything like that, Mr. TLX fight dived off the deep end and started blaming Rizarro, which then... Completely backlashed because everybody started looking into the ages. I believe this user right here had an ongoing feud with Lex for quite a while, and it got to a point where he posted a tweet that reads, Yikes, at Mr. T Lexify. The math don't lie. Lex started dating his ex girlfriend when she was 15 and he was 18. Age of consent in Canada is 16, meaning he is a P3DO. Get this man off the platform. This is confirmed stuff we've gathered. However, we also heard from someone else that he was messaging another girl when they were 13 to 14 and he was 20. Still finding out more about that situation. This would align with the cheating that happened back in 2019 with Ren. Pretty insane accusation right there. Lex would then reply, enough traction to get to his girlfriend his ex-girlfriend at the time in which she comes out and explains that says no we were not minors when we first interacted you were an adult and i was a minor in which i was groomed by you all right uh reagan had posted a tweet accusing telexify of still being an adult because he was he was 18 and telexify said he was 17 and 15. the dates actually didn't match up because telexify is two and a half years older and the screenshots that were shown were published of that of July. She accused him of grooming because he ended up she ended up being at the Z house. And she ended up dating him all the way up into an adult. Now, before we actually get into some of the other aspects of it, just know that both of them are terrible human beings. 
Okay, wow. After all this, his ex-girlfriend who goes by Pure Soft Yell Online finally comes out and has this to say. Hi, Mr. T Lexify. Please don't lie on my name before I post all the evidence I have of us hanging out when I was 16 years old and you were 19. This is so wrong of you to try and flip this on me. By the way, I am 16 years old and Lex is 19 years old, gripping my boobs at his e-house party. This video right here shows everything she just stated, so I'm gonna save your eyeballs with that. I was drunk and high out of my mind. You are so effing evil for trying to flip this on me. Why not tell everyone about how you put me in your will? Why not tell everyone about how you choked me and told me you were going to kill me because I found out you were messaging barely legal girls at 26. All right, in which Mr. T Lexify dropped a bombshell on everyone and says a visual confirmation that my ex-girlfriend had sex with a 17 year old when she was 21. You going to jail? It is confirmed that his ex-girlfriend wrote a diary about cheating on Mr. T Lexify with a 17 year old boy. Mr. T Lexify now shows off a diary based off of, his, off of his girlfriend. This diary having shown information about his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend now, having intercourse with a 17-year-old boy while they were still together. This is where I was talking about it does not paint either one of them in the best of light because both of them now look bad because both of them want to sleep with minors, and I don't fucking get it. Secondly, he had also brought her to the Z house, like I had said before, and a YouTuber from the Z house known as the, uh, the Smith plays has already talked about his points of view along with Pat. Um, but I wanted to talk about this situation because Lex is someone that was my friend. Um, and I feel utterly betrayed um i understand that this isn't about me as a victim in this situation um but in giving my perspective of this um lex lied to me lex lied to pretty much every single person in the zombies community about this um for years and i am just extremely upset they've talked about how they felt deceived how they felt hurt due to the whole situation and i can't really blame them because it is not a great situation to be in uh this sucks this sucks because i grew up watching you dude i grew up watching you man like this sucks like what the hell, dude? I can't even tell you how mad this kind of makes me because, like, I grew up as a kid. When Black Ops 2 came out, uh, I was probably 11, 11, 12 years old. I was still in junior. I do remember that. Um, So if I was in secondary school, it, it's secondary school, but I think that's what, what we called it, junior high for certain people. So when I grew up in secondary school, he he had always like appeased to me because like whenever I wanted to learn the zombies Easter eggs or I wanted to learn where the shield parts were, I'd go to him, Dalek JD, the Syndicate Project, and now to watch people that I used to admire do these kind of things, it just it fucking makes me mad, man. It pisses me off. And you was a role model, and you turned around and used that power and fucking abused it, dude. That sucks, man. That fucking... That hurts. That actually hurts a little bit. She tried to take things further, but she was very adamant on saying no. One night, Lex took it too far and touched her breast under her shirt, which caused her to leave because she was weirded out, but would decide to return the following morning. And this is where things get pretty extreme. She shares videos of them intoxicated at the Z house, where she claims that Lex was trying to get her drunk to take her back to a hotel in hopes of getting laid. So at this, he finally got what he wanted on August 21st, 2017, where he was still 20 and she was 16. In 2018, Lex ran in an Airbnb for two months, and this is where he started being overly sexual and toxic. Arguments would break out constantly, and she spent a a lot of the time locked alone in the bathroom. Lex was also taking her to high school and picking her up so they could be together more. And of course, here's more photos with the dates during that time period. This text conversation weirds me out as well. At this point, she was 17 and claims Lex sent her a DP and also made her call him daddy because it fueled his kinks. I'm not documentation. I'm fucking fucking to you so hard to your goddess body. What? She says I'm going to be legal the next time you f me. No more underage P word, daddy. 
good. Now I can't tear you apart in public. Uh, that's all I need to see, officer. Take him away. Seriously. So, and the reason why the Z House, the reason why the Z House did not know about the girl's age or anything like that is because Mr. T Lex, if I went to the broad point on this fucking earth to pick her damn passport and to show that she's 18 wherever she wasn't. I love you, but I love being a minor, getting effed by you, daddy. I can't take anymore. You are still my minoring. Absolutely disgusting. Dude, after watching that shit, I'm about to go repent. My nigga, I'm about to go pray. And Mr. T Lexify faked her passport and told the people at the Z house, everybody that was at the Z house, that she was 18 years old. She's got pictures, man. She's got dates. These dates add up to where she would be a minor and you would be 18 years old hanging out with her. Like so he actually went off his fucking way to cover his tracks as much as he could. It didn't work though. Now, as referenced earlier, both of them do suck and are terrible people. So with that also being said, t Lexify did release DMs outside of just a diary. He did release DMs. This chick is guilty too. So remember when I said that Mr. t Lexify said that his ex-girlfriend slept with a 17-year-old and cheated on him with a minor, right? That is also true because he is 100% a cuck. But it's confirmed that his girlfriend has slept with a minor. It says right here, Lawrence was 17 and I posted him. Lawrence is the guy that Mr. t Lexify's ex-girlfriend cheated on. She just confirmed that he was 17 at the time. She says, I posted me kissing him. Illegal. I didn't give a single f because it's only wrong if you have sex and no one was having sex or posting sex. You're just making excuses for being a shit boyfriend. Lawrence posted me too, even though I was 20. Even though you were 20. Even though you, you were 20. 20. You and the DMs did confirm that she slept with a 17 year old minor. But the worst part about it is, is the messages actually make Lex if I look like a fucking cuck. And now I don't even have respect for Telexify on that end because he was begging her. He was apologizing to her because apparently he wasn't giving the right energy. Lexify says, you're right. I know better. And I want to post you all the time. I want to be with you everywhere. I want to be next to you all the time. I want to be your best friend. You can tell me anything. I will never touch you again, baby. He and I argued. He would let me explode. He would sit there and calmly direct me, but he would be really stern. Mr. T Lexify says, I need to get better at that. I like that type of consoling. I'm writing this down. I'm taking CBT, which helps with redirecting your energy like that. I'm sorry. I'm not like that. Yeah. You see, it's a gamer pad. Not many girls come in here because I get friend zoned so frequently. But that's okay. I'd like to be in the friend zone. I'd like friends. It's not as pleasant as you'd think. <laughs> they don't treat you like a friend. They treat you like an item. But they're both horrible, though, because both of them are openly admitting that they bang minors. And t in my opinion, is a little bit worse because it's like, Okay, you want to expose my situation, but I'm going to expose yours so way my situation doesn't look as bad as yours and everybody will go over to your situation. You look like an asshole when you do that, dude. You just look like a fucking dick. I'm being serious with you. I'm being honest with you. And it makes you look like you're a prick. But until next time, y'all, peace out. Drop a like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, y'all, deuces.